Hey guys, so I want to do quickly a video here about two big Samsung devices that is going to come out very very soon, probably in uh, in September. Uh, so I want to compare them a little bit because both are going to cost a lot of money and uh, both are going to be high-end devices. One is going to be Samsung's uh, choice here as a direct competitor to the to the iPhone 6 and that one is being called the Galaxy Alpha uh, and then we have the Galaxy Note 4 that should uh, be unveiled in September and uh, be launched in mid-September possibly and the Galaxy Alpha is going to also be coming out I think the 12th of September and then of course we have an iPhone but uh, let's compare these to something high-end devices so of course already been checking out the rumored uh, uh, pictures here that has been leaking out of the next generation Note device uh, which has this kind of metal look but still has a lot of similarities to the to the current generation uh, Galaxy Note device so um, let's uh, let's compare them here a little bit, and of course the Galaxy Alpha, which we already got any official renders and official pictures here, uh, and the, yeah, definitely will come out next um, next month. It's guaranteed. Uh, so yeah, let's compare these two because both are probably gonna cost. A lot of money or they are gonna cost a lot of money so first thing here that's of course different between these two devices is the screen size so uh, the Galaxy Note 4 is big to have 5.7 inch display uses the current Galaxy Note device versus 4.7 inch Galaxy Alpha which is gonna be the same size as the next generation iPhone 6 it also has 720p display which is a little bit lower than 1080p and uh, even higher here quad HD that you're gonna get uh, on the Galaxy Note 4. But is there really a big difference between I mean, 720p and 1080p? Yes, there is a little bit of a difference, but in general, it's not gonna be a major difference. Uh, yeah, it's better always with 1080p and a little bit higher. And of course, quad HD here, 1440 times 2560 on the Note 4 will be even insane with 515 pixel density versus only 300 pixel density here on the Alpha. But remember, I mean, 300, pixel density when you when you are around that area it's good it's good but of course 515 that's extreme awesome but you shouldn't really have to worry too much about that super omelette technology on both of course s pen uh, on the note 4 probably come with some new s pen features one cool thing here with the galaxy alpha is that it comes pre-installed with 32 gigabytes of internal storage which is nice uh but he, yeah here's the thing yeah you don't get an card slots uh, on the Alpha it seems, which is a little bit weird I think, hmm. but it's good at least the internal, so you will be able to install games on that internal, a lot of games. Um, the Note 4 of course have a micro SD card and 16, 32 and 64 gigabytes of RAM seems to be expected and also 4 gigabytes of RAM seems to be expected versus only 2 gigabytes of RAM in the Alpha. Is it going to be a major difference in terms of most apps with that? Probably not, but then again we have to try it for ourselves. Uh, get uh, a 12 megapixel camera on the Alpha versus a 16 megapixel camera probably here on the Note 4. Uh, remember that we don't know if this is the real deal but on the Note 4, but uh, it probably will be a lot of things. Um, the latest Android should, of course, be expected here on both, even though say it's 4.4.1.3 here. I think it will come with the latest version of Android on the Note 4. Uh, the Note 4 is expected to have a chipset uh, either Snapdragon 805 model or Exynos 5433 model. Uh, the Alpha is only going to come with Samsung's own Exynos 5 here, Exynos 5430. Now, they only state 5430 here on the Alpha uh, versus an Exynos 5433 uh, variant here on the uh, Note 4. I'm not sure if 5433 and 5430 fits a major difference between them, but uh, that's of course something that we need to see for ourselves. But here at least is stating that the Exynos 5433, the octa core variant, which means it's eight cores, uh, comes in a quad core, one with eight gigahertz, Cortex A15 setup. So first four Cortex A15 cores, and then four one with three gigahertz clock Cortex A7 cores. Uh, so, um, that's a little bit different compared to this Exynos 5433 here on the Note 4, which is stating that it's going to have a quad core 1.3 GHz A53 uh, plus quad core Cortex A57. I know it sounds a little bit confusing, maybe, uh, but it also seems here that the, the Note 4 is going to come with uh, this very, very new, exciting Snapdragon 805 chipset. Right now, the current chipset that's the well boy in most high end devices is the Snapdragon 801. So, this is a big step up from Snapdragon 801. 
uh, it will be a lot faster, which is very, very nice. But that setup will come with uh, not an octa core setup, but will come with quad core with 5 GHz crate 450, which seems to be some kind of new crate. Um, Great CPU there. Uh, also, the GPUs here difference a little bit. Uh, you have the Mali T six hundred twenty eight MP six GPU, which I've never tried. It looks like some interesting new Mali GPU from Samsung inside of the Alpha versus the um, Mali T seven hundred sixty, which seems to be an even better Mali GPU uh, at least on the Exynos variant of the Exynos four. Or if it's going to have the, or if it's going to be the Snapdragon eight hundred five variant of the Exynos four, it's going to have the Adreno four twenty, which is um, one latest adrenal GPUs, very, very high end. It's going to probably provide some amazing game experience when games uh, gets updated to support that. I'm not sure that if we're going to get some new cool games this year. Probably we will some sometime. Uh, of course, here battery life is also have been stated. It's a little bit low here. Sounds at least a little bit low on the Galaxy Alpha with only 1,860 milliamps. Uh, versus Galaxy Note 4, which probably at least will have 3,100 milliamps that the current Note devices is using. So, um, but then again, also remember that uh, this new Galaxy Alpha is this chipset. I think uh, this Octa 5430 chipset is using some 20 nanomillimeter process uh, when they were doing it. So I think uh, it might um, consume less battery. So you still might have an amazing battery life, even though the milliamps sounds a little bit low. Uh, but remember, new chipsets and processors could uh, definitely be more optimized. Uh, so yeah, just a quick little comparison here on the current specs. Uh, I need to get my own hands on to know for sure which uh, which one I do feel and uh, prefer. But that, yeah, I definitely need a hands on to see that. Uh, but this one with metal on the side, of course, very, very nice. Finally, something is doing something that's a little bit interesting. Too bad that this is not water resistant. Um, they should have been able to do it, I think, because the current uh, S5 Mini and the S5 is that. So I'm not sure if the either the Note 4 or if this one, this this one definitely won't beat it from what I've heard. Uh, but the Note 4, I really hope that it's water resistant and dust resistant. That would be extremely awesome. But um, I don't really know. So yeah, you just have to wait and see. But both seems to be great devices coming out in September. Peace out.